What's up, everybody? Mattis Faction here, drinking some Coke Zero. Whoop. Mm. I got a package from Midway USA. I'm going to use this Benchmade Mini Freak to open it. If I could uh, get it. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, when I hit my phone camera, my femora. <laughs> Cold Steel Limited Edition. Look, I got, I got some on standby because you guys are going to want to see this. No. Here we go. Get this plastic out of the way. Here's a, that's just a spare clip for the other side. If you want to carry it on the other side. But anyway, this is the cold steel engage. Oh. Got this off of Midway USA. They were on sale for the same price as the OS 10 version. But this one's got black and red. My jam right there, black and red. Oof. They're numbered. There's only 600. I got 440. Put a six pack on there and you got yourself a good old engine. That's 440 with the six pack. So yeah, this is S35 VN G10. Got that black and red in there so it's layered. And this is rocking that Atlas lock. That's their new lock. Uh, my favorite lock was the Triad lock. But I was watching some of the Cold Steel videos, and this one was pretty strong. I'll give them that. I know you want to see it. So, size comparison. I busted out a couple of my Cold Steels. There's the Crawford, a criminally underrated budgety Cold Steel with that little safety lock. This would be good for uh, handing out to some responsible younger folk. Put a little lock on there. Locks your hand in there. But we're not here for this one. So there's that. I got this Cold Steel Black Talon 2. That is not for the younger folk. And this has that triad lock. So there's that. I busted out my golden eye. I really dig this one. So there's that. Here's a Recon 1. Boom. This is one of my users. You can see all the schmutzes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Side. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, here's a good comparison the 4 Max. The 5 Max is uh, 1 Max bigger. So. That's also out. Whew, this is such a sweet knife. Uh, I busted this one out just because I was messing with it. My Kukri, folding Kukri, Knight Elements. I do like this knife. I like it. And uh, the Pierce de Resistance, which is Portuguese for I like applesauce. The Cold Steel Espada XL. This is still the reigning champ in terms of length. But I need to polish that. Yeah, so I mean, I don't even know where to go. These are just two awesome knives. Get yourself one of these and then get yourself one of these. Ugh. So, triad lock, atlas lock, oof, I'm trying not to hit stuff, so, Ugh. such a big blade and I have such little room, there we go, there we go, so this is pretty thin, 
thinner than the polished XL of the uh, Espada. We kept this pretty thin. I like that. You can choke up on here if you want. That's not as comfortable, though. Maybe you held it like that. It's hard keeping this thing on the camera. Man. I just love this thing. This, uh, they named it on a live yesterday, a live stream. The Cold Steel Giggles CSGs. This is definitely one of those that gives you the Cold Steel Giggles. Uh, you get this and you're like, what the F do you need that for? But then you hold it and you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, this just unboxed. I'm not going to use it yet, but this I am going to take outside into my compound and uh, chop the four-year-old Christmas tree I have back there, maybe. Do some work. Um, this thing's just awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Shout out to the CDC boys. Lancelot Leather. Man. This is probably the most aggressive jimp I've ever seen. You get three of them. I'm just kidding. You know what? There's uh, there's not a lot of words when you get something like this in your hand. When you're used to average, you, you, you grow accustomed to it. You're like, yeah, yeah, that feels good. And then boom, you get something beefy in your hands. What am I going to do with all that? I mean, just look at it. Look at it! Just kidding. It makes you uh, yell when you hold this thing. This thing is awesome. I mean, that's a normal size pocket clip. And it looks so tiny on here. Like, here's the, uh, the uh, golden eye one, which this is uh, a long one. Let's see. Here's my mini freak. I mean, a pocket clip belongs in there. It's about half the length of the knife. Well, I mean, almost, but. And then you hold it up to the pocket clip and you realize, whew, the whole length of the knife is still shorter by just a little bit than just the handles. This one's pretty nice. Thank you, Zach. Stuff shout out. But this, oof. Oh, there's knives that you use. They're utilitarian like this. You're going to put that Crawford to work or my, my Recon one. I put this thing to work. There's knives that are fidgety. You just play with them because they're fun. You know, like uh, maybe maybe this mini freak here. You just you could sit at your desk, you could fidget. Yeah, you're going to use it too. And then there's knives that are like, oh, why do you have that? Because I can. And this is one of those. This is just, uh, <laughs> there's, there's no reason for it. I don't even know why they threw thumb studs on there. No one is going to be thumb studding this thing. I mean, it takes, it, I have giant hands and this thing takes a minute to thumb roll this thing. They should have just left those off, just have a straight flat. Pieces S35 or OS10, depending on your version. And uh, just this, just make it a one method opening the Atlas lock. I mean, man, I freaking love this thing. It's going to go in my pocket. I'm going to wear it. It will be amazing. I mean, I put this in my pocket, and usually just this much sticks out. So, I mean... This, I'll have that much sticking out. I wonder, since I haven't tried it, maybe the thumb studs act like a wave. You pull it out of your pocket, then maybe that's all they're there for. I'm going to have to test it. If that's your pocket liner. Ugh. I bet you that's what the thumb studs are for. Because, I mean, here you got the... The... the the ramp, and that acts as the wave. But they didn't put one on here because you don't really 
need a ramp on this thing, but maybe the thumb studs are. But anyway, Cold Steel Mayhem. First thoughts, do you need it? No. Do you want it? I don't know. Should you get it? Yes. If you want a knife that you just get in your hands and you immediately just giggle because it's so ridiculous in every good way, this is it. But this thing's also meant to work. This thing's going to be a chopper. Uh, I mean, you can even use this as a butcher knife in there. Maybe a paring knife. Very carefully, you know. Maybe I'll peel the skin off a grape. But here it is. Cold Steel Mayhem. It's finally here. I got number 440. There's only 600 of these. But they are making a, a bunch of the uh, budget versions. But right now, Midway USA, they're the same price, just about. This was $10 more. And last I checked, last night, there was only 23. 23 left. And if Cold Steel follows their trends, they do not remake limited series runs if they say they're making 600 of these G10 with the red and the S35, that's it. Whew. But there it is. The Cold Steel Mayhem. Get it. Cause some mayhem, maybe? To uh, some sticks and trees, some branches. This thing's almost a pound. It's 13 ounces. That's a, that's a chunk of S35. Anyway, I'm just droning. I'll do a review of this later. This is just an unboxing. And, uh, whoo, I couldn't be more excited. I love it. There it is. Get it. Either version. I don't know how long the sale, lasts. The sale might last until they're sold out. Which, like I said, 23. That's it. So... Go get it, have fun, get those cold steel giggles, and uh, have fun. I know I will.